when you're looking at waves on a string in one dimension, when you look at the positions of the antinodes, you can find the wavelength. And if you know the frequency of that wave, then you can use that to calculate the velocity of those waves on that string. So, for any standing wave on a string, all you need to do is find the positions of the antinodes, measure that distance, and uh, from that calculate the wavelength of the wave, and then from that calculate the velocity of the waves on that string. Sounds good, right? Well, can it be done with a microwave? Microwave oven, we have standing waves. They're electromagnetic waves, but they're still waves, and they're standing waves. Um, so the question is, is, can we use that fact to measure the speed of light? Now, this lab is going to be a little bit different, so we're going to send you out there to investigate. So this is going to be done in three parts. The first part, we want you to investigate what other people have done. There are plenty of YouTube videos about this. There are plenty of papers written about how people have done this. And so what we want you to do is, first of all, check that out. We want you to go and we want you to explore. Check out those videos. See what they've done. What are they claiming to have done? What do the results look like? Can you actually see the results from what's presented? Second thing is take any one of those many experiments that are out there and try to reproduce it yourself. You take your own microwave and try to um, just get it to work. And then what we want you to do is we want you to actually take a picture of your measurement between the hot spots or antinodes and include in that picture uh, the ruler or measuring device that you're using to actually tell the separation there. And then uh, finally, just report your results. What are re your results? Uh, what did you get? Were you able to measure the speed of light? What's your percent error? Um, how would you explain error? What was the similar to what you experienced as to what was on the internet? And uh, what's different about it? And then uh, we'll come back and we'll discuss this in about three or four weeks. Okay, there you go.